All right, good morning. Happy Monday. Good morning, Nick. Great to see you this morning. Kelly, good morning. <clears throat> All of you uh, ready to start your week on the right foot. If, if you are if you are logging in this morning, you're telling me you want to win the day and you want to win the week. You're starting your week off right. Good morning, Molly. Great to see you. Lee Ellen, great to see you this morning and everyone that's logging in this morning. Welcome, welcome on this first day, day one of your prayer week. You're going to win the day and you are going to win the week because you're getting it off on the right foot. Gages are already in the house, ready to pray. All right, we'll wait just another second here for a couple of people to join us. Hope you had a great weekend. Good morning, Tony. Hope you had a great weekend. Hope you worship the Lord in your church, wherever that is. We have people that, that join us for prayer from all over the United States. Tony Erickson, good to see you on the, on the bike trail yesterday, working hard. Frankie, it is Magical Monday, Frankie. Good morning. All right, today is officially God's Unseen Guidance Monday. God's Unseen Guidance Monday. Did you know that sometimes God guides us through circumstances and we don't know that it's God? Sometimes we get frustrated by our circumstances because we don't recognize it's God's direction for us. All right? Um, but you know, when we are delayed or detoured or denied something in life, we need to ask God if he's speaking to us through that circumstance. In other words, we need to be asking God as we, as we deal with circumstances of life, God, are you in this delay? Or God, are you in this detour? Or God, are you in this denial? We, we need to be asking, hey, Lord, are, are you working through this circumstance, this, this, this delay, this detour, this denial? And as we go through our day, th those things happen regularly. So we get delayed. So something comes in and we, we can't get to where we want to go when we want to get there. Or there's a detour on the road. We don't understand it. Or we're just flat out denied something. So in those moments, we need to ask if God is speaking to us, through the circumstances. Is God trying to guide you today through your circumstances? God tried to guide a false prophet named Balaam uh, by speaking to him through his donkey. All right, we're going to read that story. Let me give you a little background this morning. Balaam was being uh, pursued by Balak, who was the king of Moab, to come and curse Israel who had moved into to the, the, the plains of Moab and were, was camping there. And Balak was worried that Israel was going to overtake them and destroy them. So he wanted this false prophet, Balaam, to come and curse Israel so he could have victory over Israel. He knew that he couldn't, but, but Balaam knew that he couldn't curse Israel because God had blessed them. But, but so, ba Balak sent some men to Balaam, and Balaam, Balaam went with them. And God was mad because Balaam was going to see Balak, okay? Today is God's Unseen Guidance Monday. It's a little bit of a lengthy story, but we're going to read it this morning in Numbers chapter 22. Numbers 22, verses 22 to 34. God, God was angry with Balaam because he was going to see Balak. And the angel of the Lord stood in the way as an adversary against him. Balaam's on his donkey going to see King Balak. The Lord puts an invisible angel in the road to keep Balaam from getting to Balak. Now he was riding on his donkey and his two servants were with him. When the donkey saw the angel of the Lord standing in the way with his sword drawn in his hand, the donkey turned off from the way, the road, and went into the field. But Balaam struck the donkey to turn him back into the way. Then the angel of the Lord stood in a narrow path of the vineyards with a wall on this side and a wall on that side. When the donkey saw the angel of the Lord, she pressed herself up against the wall and pressed Balaam's foot against the wall so that he struck her again, the donkey. The angel of the Lord went further and stood in a narrow place where there was no way to turn to the right or to the left. When the donkey saw, and he couldn't slide by this time. When the donkey saw the angel of the Lord, she laid down under Balaam. So Balaam was angry and struck the donkey again with his stick. The Lord then opened the mouth of the donkey, and she said to Balaam, What have you done to what have I done to you that you have struck me these three times? Then Balaam said to the donkey, Because you have made a mockery of me, 
If there had been a sword in my hand, I would have killed you by now. The donkey said to Balaam, Am I not your donkey on which you have ridden all your life to this day? Have I ever been accustomed to do so to you? And he said, No. Then the Lord opened the eyes of Balaam, and he saw the angel of the Lord standing in the way with his sword, sword drawn in his hand, and he bowed all the way to the ground. The angel of the Lord said to him, Why have you struck your donkey these three times? Behold, I have come out as an adversary, because your way was contrary to me. But the donkey saw me and turned aside from, these th from me these three times. If she had not turned aside from me, I would have surely killed you just now and let her live. Balaam said to the angel of the Lord, I have sinned, for I did not know that you were standing in the way against me. Now then, if it is displeasing to you, I will turn back. Okay, what's happening here? Invisible angel, Balaam on his donkey. The angel is, is in the way trying to keep Balaam from going to see Balak. The donkey sees it. The donkey keeps trying to turn off the road to avoid the angel of the Lord. Balaam keeps striking the donkey. He said, come on, let's go. Let's get on. But, but the donkey knew that, that the angel was there to prevent that. And so eventually, the Lord opens the eyes of Balaam to see what God was doing in that situation. So let me tell you, ask you this one. What are your circumstances telling you today? You, 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 you don't know if God's in it or not. You don't know what's happening in your life. Have you been denied something in your life today? H has a door closed in your life? Are you frustrated because you've hit some opposition to your goals? Has your progress been stopped? Is, is there some denial in your life today? Has something been taken from you or, or you were trying to go in a direction, but you just, you hit a wall. There was a flat out, there was a flat out no, all right? Keeping you maybe from something that you want, but maybe it's not God's plan. Don't be frustrated. God may be keeping you from something that isn't his purpose and plan for your life. So here's the question. Is your denial today God's prevention? Is, your, is this closed door God preventing you from going forward to something that isn't his purpose and could be destructive in your life? All right, we're going to ask, we're going to go to prayer this morning. And we're going to ask the Lord to open our eyes so that we can see what he's doing. Uh, we're going we're gonna to avoid the frustration of, of, of a denial today until we know what God's doing in our life. Let's pray this morning, friends. Lord, we ask you to open our eyes. Friends, take a moment and say, Lord, open my eyes to, to what circumstances are telling me today so that we can see what you're doing. Just like Balaam, Lord, he couldn't see the angel in the road. All he could see was, was the donkey leading him off the road and, and keeping him from where he wanted to go. But Lord, you were in it. So Lord, open our eyes today to see what you're doing in our lives. Lord, let, help us to avoid frustration today until we know what you're saying to us. Help, keep us from fr frustration, Lord, when doors close. Keep us from frustration, Lord, when our progress gets impeded. Keep us from, Lord, frustration when our, our plans are frustrated, but we don't know why. Help us today, Lord, to, to, to pursue you and keep us from frustration this morning, Lord. Lord, we thank you this morning for your divine guidance. We thank you this morning that you lead us even when we can't see you. God, you care so much about us that you, you guide us when we don't know that it's you. So Lord, I pray today that you would open our eyes, help us to see and discern what you're doing in our lives. In Jesus' name, and everybody said, come on, everybody said this morning. Hey, listen, Psalm 23, verse 3. He guides me, God guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. God is always guiding us in the right path. Be patient. Don't be frustrated today. And then John chapter 5, verses 19 and 20. Therefore Jesus answered and was saying to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, the Son can do nothing of himself unless it is something he sees the Father doing. The Son can do nothing of him. Jesus said that. For whatever the Father does, these things the Son does in like manner. For the Father loves the Son and shows him all the things that he himself is doing. The Father loves the Son and shows him all the things that he himself is doing. And the Father loves you today. The Father loves you deeply today. And he wants to show you the things that he's doing. Don't be frustrated by a closed door today. Don't be frustrated if, if the donkey seems to be turning off to the side of the road. You're not getting where you want to go. Don't be frustrated today. It could be something you don't see. It could be the Lord 
guiding you in an unseen way. All right. What is today, friends? It is God's unseen guidance Monday. Be patient. Pray that the Lord opens your eyes to see what he's doing behind the scenes through circumstances. He's guiding you in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Trust him. Be patient today. Thank him for his goodness. Don't get frustrated with what you don't get because what you don't get may not be what you want. All right. God's denial uh, your denial may be God's prevention in your life today. It's going to be a great Monday. It's day one of the prayer week. You're going to win the day today, and you're going to win the week. Have an awesome Monday. We'll see you tomorrow morning.